In this video, we are going to discuss about periodic and aperiodic signals which we classified under classification of signals. So now, periodic signal is a signal which will repeat for regular intervals of time. So you can see the definition of a periodic signal and the relation we need to satisfy that a signal is said to be periodic, a signal x of t is said to be periodic if it satisfies the condition x of t equal to x of t plus capital T. This is the meaning. So, the signal need to repeat again and again for a regular interval of time then that signal is said to be periodic. For example, I am considering a signal like this. So, here we are having initially like this for uh, here the time period is I am considering like t for next t we need to uh, repeat the same signal that means for example if you are considering like this so this must be again t for every t same signal need to repeat so that means totally this is 2t again you need to repeat means you are getting at 3t also you are having same cycle that means this is again t totally this is 3t after starting after 2t after 3t after 4t you need to repeat the same signal which is which we are having at initial then that signal is said to be periodic so here x of t equal to x of uh, x of t plus capital t here for example if you are in discrete nature x of n equal to x of uh, n plus capital N you can consider where N is the discrete time period and here capital N will refers to fundamental time period in discrete. So here the smallest value of T which satisfies the above condition is called as fundamental time period. For example, same condition that can be satisfied by 2T, 3T also that means X of T equal to X of T plus T x of t equal to x of t plus 2t x of t is equivalent to x of t plus 3t so x of t plus 3t means this signal so it it can be satisfied by different signals but whatever the least value is there that is called as fundamental time period the smallest time period which will satisfy this relation that is called as fundamental time period by this time period we can calculate the fundamental frequency also so here how we will calculate the normal frequency so 1 by by considering 1 by t you know angular frequency omega is equal to 2 pi f so 2 pi f means if you substituted this 1 by t here then you will get 2 pi by t so now by having knowledge about fundamental time period you can calculate your frequency of the signal and your angular or fundamental frequency of the signal 2 pi by t like this. So now we are having some important points about this periodicity when two signals when two periodic sinusoids are added the result is uh, actually a sinusoidal signal definitely a sinusoidal signal and is periodic also when two signals of same frequency added so corresponding amplitudes are going to add and result is definitely a sinusoidal signal and is said to be periodic when two signals of different frequency are added different frequency signals for example one signal is having 2 megahertz another signal is having some 4 megahertz if these two signals are added then the resultant may be a signal or may not be a signal most commonly the signal results from different signal addition is not at all a signal so only some rare cases it seems like a signal in most of the cases the addition of different frequency signal will re uh, result a signal which is not seems like a signal that is not actually a signal so and the periodicity may be uh, the resultant signal from two different frequency addition may be periodic or may not be periodic according to the nature we are getting here we can justify whether that is periodic or not so here when we are adding same frequency only you are getting sinusoidal signal that means if you added same frequency sinusoids you are going to get sinusoid definitely and that may be periodic mostly but when you are adding different frequency signals that is typical to calculate the periodicity also in the next class 
we will see how we will calculate periodicity of a signal. So, here we are having two important methods uh, to calculate periodicity. So, GCD method and uh, division method, two methods are there. I will show you in the next class how we can find the period of a signal.